Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and I just did a video about this, and I was going to make a video on how to make these gaps smaller, and then I decided, no, I wasn't going to do it, and then I decided that I would show you how to just make one, and came up with some pretty good ideas, especially how to get the gap smaller. I don't know about the ratios yet, but if you'll take a uh, an ellipse tool and hold down the control button and make a perfect ellipse. And then bring it in and get it approximate the size of your, let's say you have a bad one. Let me change my nudge distance to something a little 0.001. Let's nudge this line over a little bit. Whoa. Point zero zero one. Let me zoom in here. I don't know the ratio yet. Okay, we're pretty close. Maybe that other thing's not even a circle. And then take another ellipse tool, and, and this this one is bigger. But hold down the control button and get it to match. And so that's a little bit big. We're gonna. Bring it down a little bit. And one thing I say in almost all my videos, you've got to realize it's going to be your Celtic knot. So who, who's to say, hold down the shift, who's to say it, it's not perfect. But you've got these two ratios. Now let's change it back to two inches. And let's move this out of the way. So this is going to be our ratio, and maybe my math guru will uh, enlighten me. But I'm going to take this one and control D and make a duplicate. While holding down the shift key, I'm going to make that circles like this band. And really, you could do this probably with ratios, but control D and hold down the shift. And all I'm caring about is just getting them about the same length. Okay, then I am going to group these two together, control G. That's probably not important. It is important to group these two to control G. And then I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. And I'm going to move my center rotation to the center. And I'm going to rotate it 120 degrees. 120 degrees again. And I don't think my first one's going to be as, uh, this one's going to be as good as my first one. But if you can kind of see, then take your virtual segment delete key and delete these lines and see what you got on the inside. Then we could take these lines and delete them. So we could play around with that rotation and figure out what it is. Now, you know, if you have something close by, to kind of give you a pattern, you're, you're kind of copying this anyway. So, you know, what you want to pass through, like this one stops here, this one passes through. Well, it's going to have to do the opposite on the other one because this is going to pass through. And then this doesn't pass through, but this passes through. And then this one passes through, the other one shouldn't. So you just do the opposite on each corner. This one is under, so this one needs to be over. So these need to, no, we need to go here. Go up the next one. This needs to go through this way. This needs to go through this way. And I think we're done. No, right here. So this one needs to go through. So we'll, no, just the opposite. We want this to go through. Then, Take your smart fill tool and nudge everything over. I'm just, I'm not talking because I'm trying to look. Okay, we got everything over. Now, originally I actually took them apart, but I don't think I have to. Because we're going to take well, you know what? It'd be a lot easier to kind of visualize what's going on here. 
And if because we did it like this, our, our gap would be too big. I am going to nudge these over so that there's none touching. You know, like that's okay because it's not touching. That one's probably need to go over there. That one's that one's not touching. Probably send that one there. That one's okay there, and and really that one was okay where it was. This doesn't make much sense here, but let's do this. Grab all these and group them together, control G. Go up to effects, contour. We're gonna to contour the inside just 0 .001. We don't have to do anything else. We can leave them grouped up. Let me get this out of the way. And now we're gonna use a smart fill tool. And I think that's the one, we, well, yeah, we need to move it because I need to get out of that uh, contour. So I need to move it over one. Take the smart fill tool, probably move this over two. And all I'm doing is now I'm getting a smaller shape because I contoured it to the inside. And look at that. Pretty cool, pretty clean. Um, I think I'm about even, maybe this triangular part's a little bit taller than the other two, so. Um, I think I did start in the center, so that ought to work. And then it just, if you look at it on a, a background, uh, it's always better to kind of see something highlighted. order back a page. So it just kind of pops out. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.